So the results for the brand new creature vote are in and the newest creature coming to Ark later on this year is the Rhino Natha, which is um, pretty much dubbed the Sky Giga. Um, I don't know if it's going to turn out that same way, considering the fact that in the community crunch, they used a picture of a Rhino Natha in Amber, just showcasing how small it actually was. This was like mosquito sized. Now, obviously, the thing that was submitted is a giant hulking creature that can pick up, like, rexes and such. Uh, go on, like, land, air, and sea, and uh, it can lift up rexes. I, I really don't know whether or not they're actually going to do it the exact same way. They'll probably make it big, but I don't think they'll make it that big. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to get into it. We're going to take a look at all the results. But, uh, guys, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if you enjoy this one. And also, let me know down below if you voted for this in your number one slot. Um, but, uh, yeah, speaking of, let's take a little look at all of the results. So they actually have the, the full breakdown right here. So in round one, the Rosanna, which was the crocodile creature, dropped out because that had the least amount of votes, followed by the goat, which I believe has been in all three creature votes so far. Uh, pretty interesting. Um, it's actually second to last on this one. So clearly, um, I don't know if that's going to be great to put into the next one. But, uh, yeah, it was followed by the cheetah and then the Nothosaurus, which was the, um, semi-aquatic kind of dinosaur and then the gorgon opted i thought that was going to be higher up on the list because a lot of people were hyped about that thing then the giant bison again another creature that's been in so many votes and then after that we had the bastion beetle drop out there's something interesting about that i'll tell you in a minute then we had the lion drop out and then it was a breakdown between the rhino and then obviously the quetzal kind of sized creature uh, the Hatsi, or whatever it's pronounced. Um, yeah, so, obviously, the Rhino won. Um, check this out, though. Here's round one. This is a full breakdown of, uh, what everybody placed in their number one. So, 17% of the vote went to the Rhino, which is interesting. But then after that, the, uh, the Bastion Beetle was next with 15%, but that dropped out, I think, in round seven. You can actually see, like, a full breakdown. And this is why I was trying to tell you guys a couple weeks ago that it's so important that you make sure for every single creature, you need to have, like, a good idea of where you're putting it on your actual vote. Because if you put... If you only care about one creature and you put it at your very top and then nobody cares about that thing, no matter what your next order is, you know, the next one in your list will become your number one if your top one drops out. So that's kind of how it all works. And that's why this one actually dropped out sooner because a lot of people had it in their number one, but the people that didn't have it in their number one had something different and they had it pretty far down as well. So, um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting breakdown right here. Honestly, I... I'm pretty surprised about some of this. Um, I figured that this guy right here would actually get less votes, but yeah, no, it actually still pulled in like 7%. It's not bad to be honest, but um, obviously, you know, there's a lot of love for all these dinos, all these creatures, but I don't know. I was still pretty surprised at some of these results. Um, and then, yeah, let's go right down towards the end. We're getting down to like round seven right here. Uh, does that breakdown even actually equal 100? It's probably rounded up slightly, but um, yeah, as you can see, it was it was very very close between the lion and then the uh, the Hatsi. Obviously, it pulled ahead by like barely any votes at all. Like <laughs> that's like less than 200 votes. It won over the lion and got into second place, but neither of them could really stand up to the Rhino. Um, yeah, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I, I'll, I'll figure it out. It's coming to Ark. I'll figure it out. I'll know by the time it actually gets to the game. But, um, yeah. And then obviously you can see right down here in the very last round, there was only like a difference of like 1600 votes between these two. Very, very close at the very, very end. And obviously this was like fourth, um, on the round one, wasn't it? Let's take a little look. No, it was third. My bad. But um, obviously, yeah, the this dude pulled ahead of it, I believe, at one point, didn't it? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, right down here around round four, the, the lion actually pulled ahead of the Quetzalay creature. So that's uh, that was pretty interesting. Anyway, here are my uh, actual, like, this is what I voted for. I really wanted that thing in. I really, really wanted that thing in. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't get in, but I did put the Rhino pretty high on my list. I, I'm, I'm all for insects in Ark and... You know, if they're going to make it big, then that would be kind of cool. I just completely cannot believe that they would do that, but it will be Ark's probably last creature ever, so who knows? Who knows? But uh, yeah, obviously, um, you can see the rest of it. I wasn't too stoked about the cats. I put them all down at the bottom, and I didn't really want the Nothosaurus. I think that was pretty obvious from the video, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so those are my results. I don't like to show them. 
before the actual results come out and um i do appreciate all the people that are giving me some love for that um unfortunately other creators you know not everybody's gonna be the exact same i kind of wish we would all maybe keep it to ourselves and and you know not try to influence it i don't like to use my influence that way i'm not outing anybody i'm just saying so um yeah hopefully next time if we do get another vote that uh, people don't push certain things but yeah we'll uh we'll have to wait and see though anyway <laughs> let's take a little look at one thing on the community crunch that's pretty interesting though uh so they talked about a roadmap coming next month they're going to announce uh all like the roadmap for all of the iterations of arc uh basically you know arc one arc two and then arc the animated series and then maybe some sotf stuff as well i don't know if they're gonna do some extra stuff for it hopefully this is gonna be like a live stream to be honest that would be a lot better than just a normal post or something i like to actually hear it from the devs instead of um you know reading it from the devs i suppose but um in total by the way 65,000 people voted for the creature in the creature vote which is interesting because my video had 400,000 views some of you guys are slacking come on guys like <laughs> it takes two seconds to just go through them after you're finished watching the video it's kind of silly but um i do really try to actually push the creature votes every single time and hopefully i help to make a dent on that and bring light to it to the people that don't follow everything arc related but um yeah that's still pretty interesting like 400,000 people watched that video that's insane lack of of you guys coming in and actually voting but um yeah so that's that's pretty much it uh oh by the way sotf for console um hopefully next week between wednesday and friday i'll probably stream that day we'll um we'll get together and start uh attacking console <laughs> console people we'll just we'll just get on it and see if we're better than you guys we'll, we'll see uh, hopefully it's crossplay day one we'll have to wait and see with all that but um yeah i think that's for, that's pretty much it to be honest i mean actually you know what i do want to talk about the arc 2 things one sec so i didn't actually get to talk about these brand new concepts that came out um because i was away at the time i was literally in a, a nightclub in budapest and uh, like i pull out my phone and i'm like oh great dinosaurs like <laughs> just looking at this stuff somebody actually popped their head over my shoulder they're like what are you looking at i'm like no it's just it's nothing don't worry but um yeah so we uh we got the concepts and the confirmation of the stegosaurus and the brachiosaurus coming to arc 2 of course this is old news for some of you guys i haven't actually talked about it so obviously skip past this if you don't want to watch but um yeah so i want to give you guys my thoughts and my thoughts are this stego looks absolutely fierce i i i love the extension of all of these extra plates and everything right here and the extra spikes on the tail normally they don't come out this far but um yeah i, I gotta say i'm really digging this stegosaur definitely more than arc one stegosaur who knows if it will actually have all the same kind of abilities maybe something similar but maybe more evolved or something speaking of that actually i do want to talk about that in just a second but uh let's take a little look at the brachy first so right here we have the brachiosaurus and we already knew this creature was coming to the game it was in the arc to um the first trailer that we got you could see it in the background along with some pteranodons but um here is a close look at it because it was tiny in the trailer you could barely see it you could just tell it was a brachy because of its neck but um yeah i i gotta say this thing looks just really really cool i love the spikes like the kind of added spikes to the back right here it's almost like a um kind of like a tough armor or whatever so one thing that i'm i'm kind of getting from these arc 2 creatures is uh that's actually the stego well yeah actually here's the here's the difference between the arc 2 stego and the arc 1 stego a lot less spikes on the tail and then the plates don't really come out along here they're just directly on the spine but um yeah let me just take a little look because i also have the anki right here we got this a couple months ago you can see the spikes are like extra long they're kind of poking out of different places that they're not usually poking out of um but one thing i'm getting from these arc 2 creatures is that they're pretty much like it's as if they're the creature itself is more accurate you know in terms of like you know paleontology and stuff slightly at least but it's it's as if they took that and then they evolved them further because what i'm seeing right here is just extra spikes extra like bits onto them and that's what i'm kind of getting I i'm kind of just assuming that in arc 2 something with the creatures happens i don't know if they could evolve that quick it doesn't really make much sense maybe there's something on the planet that can make them evolve quicker or something but it's as if they took the creatures and then evolved them like you know several generations gone and then i don't know they just have like all this extra stuff on them they're more well equipped for the environment because what you got to remember is we're not actually on earth for arc 2 
you know it's a completely different planet i believe the planet might actually be called a rat uh because the the like what are they called the the native um enemies that are on there obviously we've seen those in the trailers before those are called the arati or arati or whatever but um so it might actually be called a rat who knows i think it maybe it has been confirmed i don't know i gotta take a look at the steam page again but um i don't know man like it, this is kind of crazy just seeing these creatures like more evolved they're like more well equipped for the environment that they're in potentially i don't know it's really really cool uh, i'm definitely digging the looks of all three of these guys right here obviously we've had the anki for many weeks i actually did a poll let me pull up the results for that real quick yeah i did a poll um what is it like three months ago now for whether or not people prefer the new anki or the arc one anki and a surprising amount of people actually still like the arc one anki 28 percent of people preferred it over the arc two one which is uh it's kind of interesting and there's almost 100,000 votes on this 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 vote right here got more than the creature vote <laughs> what the hell maybe i should do the creature vote in my channel no i'm just kidding <laughs> that sounds so egotistical anyway I <laughs> You guys need to vote next time. I'm serious. 400,000 people watched that video. It's that's so silly. But anyway, yeah, so you can see right there a lot of people voted in this and um and obviously, you know, Arc 2 Anki looks cooler, I think. But a lot of lots still a lot of love for the Arc 1 Anki. So, yeah, anyway. So yeah, those are pretty much my thoughts about the uh the Arc 2 concepts. I think that they all look really really cool and I cannot wait to see them. When are they going to show us some more carnivores, though? You know, <laughs> they should be dropping these every week. I guarantee they have enough creatures to show us for every single week of this actual year. Like, they could drop a new one every single week and, and you know, <laughs> and just show us something. But I suppose we're probably going to be getting maybe some gameplay next month. Uh, who knows? But, um, yeah, I'm really, really excited, though. This stuff looks great. Anyway, that's about it, guys. Uh, if you have enjoyed this one, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. And, uh, yeah, so we're getting that creature later on this year. Um, obviously, I'll update you guys when we have a dossier for it or any additional information. But, uh, yeah, that's it. And I'll catch you in the next one.